Hello and welcome to the second part of connection design with RAM connection. I am Shurajit Ghosh and in this video, I will cover different connection templates available in RAM connection for CR, moment or combined connection, including few special types of connection. Then I will discuss about different connection design workflows starting from the manual approach to fully automated design approach available in the integrated module and selection of correct design workflow. In last part, we have already covered the basic of connection design, including different modules, design method and code. You can check that for more details. In RAM connection, we can assign three types of connection. CR connection, where only axial force and uniaxial CR force is considered. Moment connection, designed with axial force and end moment. Finally, a combined connection where axial force, uniaxial shear and moment are considered for design. Cassette connection is also a combined connection with additional axial force considered from the bracing. Apart from these three types of connection, we can also combine multiple connection templates, assign different shear and moment connection to a joint. For example, we can assign a shear tap along with a flange plate at a joint which behaves like a CR plus moment connection where both the connections are designed for individual force. If a specific connection template is not available under combined connection, we can still design that using multiple templates. There are few tricks to assign a mixed connection to a joint using customized button. I'll cover this later. For connection design, we need to assign a template to a joint, for example, a side plate connection template or flange plate connection. Design is based on that template. RAM has a wide range of template database. Almost all common types of connection can be designed here, whether a beam column flange or web connection, beam to garter, different types of beam and column splice connection, horizontal and vertical gusseted brace, truss connection, column cap and base plate connection. All these templates are equipped with different customizable option. We can configure and assign different connection data including variable plate, angle or T section, connector arrangement, number of bolts. These are just the database, not the connections we are looking for. All these are further categorized under beam column flange connection. We have different CR connection like CR tap, end plate, clip angle, stiffened and unstiffened seated connection. Under moment and combined connection, several other templates are available like flange plate, directly welded, moment angle and end plate connection, knee connection for tapered member. If required, we can assign additional stiffeners and doppler plates in the column which is fully customizable and considered during connection design. Similarly, for beam column web connection, different templates are available for CR connection like side plate and clip angle and additional templates for moment and combined connection. If there is any gap between beam and column web or the beam section is wider than the column, additional stiffener plates are used during connection design Next is the beam gutter connection with single plate, end plate, clip angle templates. If required, we can rearrange the position of connecting member so that the top or bottom flange is at the same level with the gutter. There are different types of gusset connection. In the vertical plane with beam, column and brace or only cross bracing, horizontal gusset connection with similar type of arrangement. For any gusset connection, all force components from beam, column and bracing are considered during design and gusset plates are designed considering the gap required to fit the individual beam column connection. Common types of beam and column splice connections are available with single plate, flange plate and moment end plate template. For base plate connection, we can design either rectangular or circular plate. 
with or without central hole, with additional stiffener plate or channel, CR lug, and different type of anchor bolt. We can design the base plate considering uniaxial or biaxial moment. During design, program not only designs the plate, also performs required checks for the concrete block based on the guidelines of relevant concrete design code like IS-456 for India or ACI-318 for American code, including CR and TR failure, block failure, pull out of the anchor bolts. These are few most used connection templates. Apart from this, there are several other useful connections like tubular truss and chevron connection with directly welded and gasseted branch configuration, bend plate and apex connection, metered knee for hollow section, and hunch connection with additional stiffener in the column. For each joint, RAM connection generates a detailed report with a summary of utilization ratio for each design check, graphic representation or contour plots like base plate anchor tension, Along with that, we can switch on the formulas, which includes all intermediate calculation with equation and reference number. We can use this to validate or compare the results with our hand calculation, add this in the project report. Not only this, we can also generate a combined design report for all the connections with few schematic diagram of the connection, information of the joint, and all design calculation. If required, get a summary of the connectors used for design like length, dimension, thickness or quantity of the angle and plates used in different joint, quantity of specific type of bolt based on length and dia. This is extremely helpful for quick estimation and procurement. Along with all this detailed report, a drafting drawing is also generated for each connection with front and elevation view, dimension of each connector, and with proper information of bolt or weld. This drawing is dynamic. It is updated if there is any change in the user input or design. Also we can cross check any data reported here with the input. I'll cover it in the next part. If required, we can save this as an external DXF file and edit as per our requirement. For integrated connection design module of STAD, a combined design report file is generated with member and connection design summary along with all the drawings. That's all about RAM connection. I have covered only the key features of this module. Rest of the features will be covered later. Next, I will discuss about different manual and automated connection design workflows and demonstrate the workflow using a real-life plant structure. RAM connection has multiple modules. It has a standalone version. Also, it is integrated with STAD Pro. And in each module, we can follow different design workflows, starting from a manual approach to an automated technique. Let's check what are those workflows and how to select the right one for connection design. We can categorize this as manual design workflow where all the connection design data needs to be specified by the user. It is available both in the standalone version and in the integrated connection design module of STAT. Though the second one is more advanced, some information are imported from the analysis model. Next one is semi-automated design workflow, where we can reuse analysis model data for quick design and grouping of connections. It is available only in the integrated module. Final one is the automated design workflow where we can assign connection templates during modeling and design is performed automatically after analysis. This is available only in the integrated module of STAT. In next part, I'll start with manual approach using RAM connection standalone module, which is commonly used for quick design and checking of connection strength. There are several useful options available in this module, including use of project specific templates or assignment of multiple templates to a single joint. I'll cover those in detail. Keep watching.